Buying a power hammer is one of the most important decisions a blacksmith can make. Using a power hammer not only allows you to work larger stock, it'll also increase your productivity, reduce forge fuel costs, but more importantly, will reduce the wear and tear on your body. This is an Anyang 25kg air hammer. In the USA, it'd be considered a 55 pound hammer. It is a self-contained air hammer that is designed for factory use. The advantages to a self-contained air hammer are higher hitting energy, more control, extremely dependable, and has a very low operating cost. There, there's also no need to have a massive separate air compressor that takes up extra shop space and requires you to run high pressure air lines from the compressor to the hammer. When looking at purchasing a power hammer, keep in mind that ram weight isn't the only factor in determining the hammer's hitting power. A lot of Anyang's hitting power comes from a high volume downward air pressure, not just the hammer's ram weight. This is why a self-contained air hammer can forge larger stock more efficiently than other hammers in the same weight class. The construction of this hammer is both smart and simple. In the back of the hammer is a cycling piston that it generates an air source that is always present. With this design, you can run multiple parts one after another without any power loss or having to wait for a separate air compressor tank to fill up. These hammers can be ran full throttle three shifts a day without any compromise of the hammer's performance, which is exactly why large production shops and factories still prefer the self-contained design. Learning to use this hammer is easy. Simply apply pressure on the foot pedal much like you would a car's gas pedal. As the hammer ram starts to cycle, your foot will control the hammer stroke. This hammer can deliver heavy blows or soft taps without making any adjustments on the hammer. This saves a worker from having to stop everything, pick up wrenches, and retune the hammer. Later on in the video, I'll demonstrate this. Monthly maintenance is very easy and can be done in just a few minutes. You basically have two grease cirques that are easy to reach and an oil reservoir that should be kept full. Everything on this hammer is built for commercial industrial use. Anyang uses forged tool steel for all the major moving parts, including the hammer's ram. All of these components are forged, machined, heat treated, and polished in the Anyang factory. Another advantage to the Anyang power hammer is our dovetail ram and anvil design. We start with a simple block of tool steel, then it is forged and machined to spec. This dovetail design can be found on forging machinery around the globe. Some hammer manufacturers have taken a shortcut and are now using bolts that are threaded into the ram and anvil. Years of hammering, mill scale, and constant retightening will prove to be hard on this design. Enyang uses a self-aligning die design and has a slide lock feature that keeps the top key from backing out. We have a wide selection of dies that are in stock ready to ship. Whether your business is tool manufacturing, ornamental iron, knife making, Enyang has you covered. Enyang also has the ability to make custom dies, so if you have a forging problem, Enyang has a solution. It is important you know that you're buying a power hammer from a company that is going to be in business for many years. Anyang has been building these forging hammers since 1956. They are by far the largest forging equipment manufacturer in the world. Their hammer ram weights range from 33 pounds all the way up to 4,000 pounds. They have over 1,600 employees and 300 engineers using the latest in 3D CAD CAM technology and equipment design. Their hammers are used in heavy industry in over 60 countries around the world. Anyang will continue to be the leading power hammer manufacturer well into the future. I've been using Anyang power hammers in my shop since 2003. They have given me years of trouble-free service, but like any machinery, there's always room for improvement. Anyang understands in order to stay on top of the forging industry, they must continue to make design improvements. That is why I meet annually at the Anyang factory. By doing this, I'm able to meet with the factory workers and the engineers making sure they understand my needs for constant improvement. Before we start forging today, I need to take a moment and explain basic power hammer safety. Always wear hearing and eye protection. Always keep your hands a safe distance from the dies. If you are using tongs, make sure they're the appropriate type and size for the work that you're going to be doing. Never hold the tongs directly into your body, always to the left or to the right. And just like working in front of an anvil, 
you should be in a very comfortable, neutral, natural position. Your work should always be resting flat on the bottom die, never floating in between the dies. Most of the time you want to keep the workpiece 90 degree with the bottom die, this way or this way. If you're going to use spring dies or top tools, be very careful. Make sure your tools are made from the proper steel and are designed correctly. Also, if possible, when forging, try to smoothly pull the work towards you, not push and force it through the hammer. I don't always do this, but it's a good habit. Remember to keep your floor clean and clear, especially the path between the forge and the hammer. There should be no tripping hazards around your hammer. Also, try to remember, don't allow people to sit down around the power hammer. I know this sounds very strange, but when somebody is sitting in a chair, their head is almost the same height as the dies. If your workpiece were to break or shear, it could shoot out and hit them. Never rush from the forge to the hammer. Always be mentally prepared for the next step in your workpiece. Forging with a power hammer is not something I'd consider risky or dangerous. The most important thing to remember is practice common sense. Now that we have all that covered, let's start forging.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I couldn't cover everything, but we will be making more videos in the future. If you're in the market for a power hammer, do your research. To learn more about Anyang Power Hammers, visit my website, or better yet, stop by my shop for a day. You can test drive any of our hammers. I'm located in North Texas, an hour from DFW Airport. Thanks for your time, and remember, don't work harder, work smarter.